All right, you guys, the day has come where I'm going to learn how to work in Blender. And what I learned, I also going to show you on YouTube here so you can learn it so we can learn together. And in this video, we're going to check out how to customize the editors. So in Blender, they call it editors. For example, this is an editor. This is an editor here, which is basically the timeline you can find also in Photoshop or this is an editor. Or if you click on this button, you can see a ton of editors as well. And you can switch them up to other kind of editors. Now, as you can see, we got one viewport here meanwhile in cinema 4d the screen is split in four so basically you can view the cube from four different directions now here you also can do that so we're going to check out how to customize these editors and split the screen and all that stuff so if you go on the right side in between the editors you can see these arrows and you can right click on them and you can select one of these vertical split or horizontal split for example i'm going to select the vertical split and you just go click and there you go and now you got like two viewports or you can go and right click here and you got this menu again you can split it horizontally it's going to do its thing and of course if you want them to disappear you go again here right click join area and you join them together for example if you want to join the bottom one with the top one then you click it and there you go you join them together right click join area i want this one to be active so i'm going to join it with this so there you go you can also go here right click join area you can make this timeline section disappear and this way you can add a couple of more editors just right click vertical split you add another one here and check this out you can switch it here and you can choose another editor for example, with these and let's split it again, horizontal and I'm going to split it here and change it with another thing, maybe with an image editor. And this way you got some new menus going on. Now you might want to animate the cube, but as you can see, the timeline disappeared because we joined them together. So check this out. You need to go down here to the left bottom corner until the mouse is going to switch itself to this little plus and long press and bring it upwards. And look at that. This way we got a new editor. All you need to do is just switch up the editor to timeline and you got the timeline back. Now, how did I do that? You can go to the corners, for example, the upper right corner or the bottom right corner and just bring up a new editor. And then you got this little plus here split it now this one work all the time because it's a little bit tricky to for example you can join also the editors together if you long press it so it has like multiple functionalities but if you get it right you can make a new editor now check this out we got like four viewports like in cinema 4d but the thing is it is not aligned for example perfectly because it can be aligned here you know it just doesn't snap to the center perfectly but we can make that happen as well so i'm going to join these together first so if you want to split the viewport perfectly you can right click here select vertical split and just press and hold control and check this out it's going to isolate itself to a specific area so we're going to go to the center click on it and there we go we got a perfect split now I'm going to go and select horizontal split. And by the way, you also can press the tab and it's going to switch it to vertical from horizontal. So now I want a perfect horizontal split, press and hold control, and it is going to snap it perfectly into the center. Click and there we go. And basically you can add as many editors as you want. And this is why 3D softwares are a little bit more complicated because it's a combination of Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects and 3D. But it's a lot of fun. So this was it. Thanks for watching.